I'm gonna be very vulnerable with you guys right now. <laughs> I've been having a hard couple of weeks. <laughs> Hello, thank you so much for joining. We are on part two of our Valentine's Day viral TikTok cake saga. Part one was tricky. Um, part one was upsetting. And I've already forgotten something. Now, last week, the lesson I learned was that I wasted a lot of my money because I was like, oh, I'll have this done in a heartbeat. I know exactly what I'm doing. There won't be a problem. Now, what I learned is that I should not have probably spent, you know, the $60 on ingredients to make my own cake with something I wasn't doing with certainty. Now, the confidence I had was, was proven important. However, I messed some things up. One, I should have gone in with store-bought cake mix because I hadn't tried this yet. Two, I didn't let my cake fully cool and then freeze it. Three, I used a stencil and, and it was like a half thing, so it was already, it was doomed from the get-go is what I'm trying to say. I'm taking the lessons that I learned from last time and I'm changing that now. So, lesson number one, we're using circular pieces. We're just gonna do a circle and then we're gonna make it Valentine's Day on the outside. I use red velvet cake. I also use store-bought cake mix. You guys know I do not like to do that. The other thing you have to know when doing cakes like this is that you are going to need so much more frosting than you think you do because you're gonna be icing every layer. You are also going to be icing the crumb coat, which is the outside, and you're going to be needing the icing that's actually going to ice your cake. So you're gonna need probably like three times the amount of icing or frosting that you think you need. That's, that's rule number one. On top of all the other number one rules I just gave you. I'm using two separate tools here, you guys will see. I'm using this um, just like rubber spatula as my crumb coat icing situation. I'm using icing and frosting interchangeably, just stick with me. Because there's gonna be a lot of little red crumbs that are in <laughs> this crumb coat. So we wanna keep our regular nice white icing perfectly white and only use one tool for this. This is already going better, <laughs> which is nice. Also, before you embark on a cake journey like this one, you want to make sure you have plenty of space in the fridge because, <laughs> because it's gonna need to chill. It's gonna need to chill as the cake layers. It's going to need to chill as the whole cake itself, so standing up. So you just wanna make sure you have plenty of space. Now the crumb coat can be really, really, really thin. It's just, a matter of encasing all of those crumbs. See, you can see a million crumbs right now anyway. And we don't want that to get that into our nice white icing. So we are going to just kind of start bringing this down, bringing it on the sides a little bit. Truly cannot waste any. <laughs> Frosting is like gold in these situations. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bench scraper, which is just like a $1 piece of plastic and we're gonna start going around. Okay, definitely gonna need some more icing. That's fine. Okay. Okay. It is becoming clear that I need to pop this in the fridge for a second to firm up. So we'll be right back. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. I'm very frustrated. More so than when I dropped the chicken last year. I'm gonna be very vulnerable with you guys right now. <laughs> I've been having a hard couple of weeks. Truly not getting any new viewers. I'm not getting really any attention on my YouTube videos or my Instagrams or TikToks, whatever. And this is by no means me being ungrateful for you. Those of you who are watching, I cannot tell you how much it means to me that you're here. But as somebody who for a little while was able to do content creation full time and is now having to shift back into doing other stuff, 
Um, it's been really, really hard and really, really frustrating. And I saw these cakes and I just thought they were so pretty and I thought it would be a really fun way to get back into my kind of like baking and just like baking for fun and doing stuff for fun. And now that I like have up the crumb coat, which is like such an easy thing to do if you just have patience. Now that I've f***ed up twice, it's just, it's just getting really frustrating. So I've just had a hard um, little go of it. And I don't mean for this to come off as like, woe is me, now you don't get, now I don't get to be an influencer. And that's so hard, now you have to get a job like the rest of the world. That's not what I mean. I've just like so genuinely enjoyed getting to make videos as my full-time job. And I've been so privileged and I've been so lucky to do it that now that it's not the case, it's just upsetting and frustrating. Um, and so I thought this would be like a fun thing to do because it's something I know how to do. And now it's striking me as like, maybe you don't even know how to do that. Maybe like the one thing you're actually good at, you can't even do. So that's why I'm so frustrated. Um, so I'm sorry if this was like more <laughs> real than intended, but um, we're gonna do we're gonna do the decoration in in this in just a couple seconds in this video, and it'll be great and it'll be fun and it'll be really pretty. But I just wanted to be honest with you about um, you know kind of the hard time I've been having. So. That's that, that's why I'm inordinately upset about this cake that I'm sure you're like, it's literally fine, chill out. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit um, when, we're, when it's time to decorate. The, the cake is in the freezer right now. It will be fine, I just like need to have patience that I don't have, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Thank you for bearing with me through that. Um, I guess I needed to get that off my chest more than I thought I did. It's just been tricky. And you know, sometimes things are tricky. I'm cutting off the little paper straws that I added in here because of course the cake was falling. Now we are going to actually ice it. I added the little paper straws in there um, just as some support because it was of course falling in the freezer. So there was just a little bit of off camera work we had to do. Maybe a little cry was involved, who knows? Oh, okay, good, good. Yes, work. We're gonna take our bench scraper again and just start going around. Okay, this isn't looking too bad. It takes a lot to get to the fun part, which is actually decorating the cake, but it'll be worth it. We're gonna have a really pretty cake that's gonna be so cool. I had to do a quick change because that cake stand just was not cute enough. And if I wanna take pictures with this cake, which you bet your ass after this ordeal I'm going to, I just don't think that's gonna be the move. So. I have everything I think I'm gonna need. We all know how that usually goes though. Um, to decorate, so we're just gonna start. I'm gonna start with little guys like this. Maybe let's do that. I think that's cuter. If you plan on making this, which, you know, I don't know if after I, what you've seen me go through, you'll want to, just a full mental breakdown. Um, but if you want to, Get ready to use a lot of frosting. Is this going to tilt? Probably. Perfect. We're just gonna use this side as the good one. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I'm just like kind of going with what my heart tells me to for these ones, because I don't know what I want for sure. And then maybe we'll do like, Oh good, oh hell yeah, that's gonna fall. Okay, cool. Okay, if I do it closer, it's fine. Now this, this is not my best video. Or maybe it is, maybe, maybe this all happened because I've been needing to be a little more vulnerable with you guys about how I've been feeling. So maybe this is very meant to be. 
I did see one that did this really cute thing. Let's do it on the ugly side first. So if I f it up, it's fine. I like that this is fully tilted. I think that's really chill and cool. That's actually adorable. Maybe I don't hate this as much as I thought I did. It is so tilted, it's hilarious. Okay, let me get you guys close up so you can actually see what I'm doing. This is the cake. <laughs> she's a little lopsided. She's having a hard time, but she's very cute. And she's trying her best, like somebody else I know. This cake really, I'm gonna be honest, it's definitely not my favorite. I see a vision here and I think the vision is very cute. And I do want to get better at this style just because I think it's stunning and so fun and cute. I don't know if I'll be trying to put it on YouTube, um, the effort of getting better at this style because, you know, maybe I'll just keep having these mental breakdowns. Wouldn't that be great? Just to fully wrap this episode up, I, I really wanna make it so clear for every single person watching who has ever watched, if this is your first time, if this is your 300th time watching one of my videos, which I just found out I have like 306 videos that I've made, which is crazy. I really, really appreciate you watching. I'm not complaining about you. I'm not saying that you're not good enough. I just, I, I've been feeling stuck for a long time. And this cake, I guess, just pushed me over the edge. But, you know, I'm honestly not mad about it. It allowed me to be a little more honest with you guys and share how I've been feeling. So truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you for listening, if you're still here listening. Um, and thank you for watching and thank you for being here. And this isn't me, you know, begging you to send this video to somebody. No, people are gonna find it when they're meant to find it, that's okay. I've just been having a bit of a hard time lately and this cake, wanted to make sure I knew that. Um, <laughs> Please let me know uh, if you guys want to see the evolution of these types of cakes, because I would like to be better at them. But, um, you know, I also don't have a professional fridge and freezer that's gigantic and open and can like keep a whole cake in it all the time. And that's kind of the stuff you need. I could have more patience. That is fully in my control. Uh, <laughs> so let me know. This is our little, imagine if I drop it with my luck. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I put out two videos a week. One is a podcast and one is a really fun, high energy, cute, <laughs> not sad at all food video. Um, I love you guys. I'll see you on Tuesday.